Hello, period five. It's Mr. Klausner here. Hope you're all doing well and being safe and smart and spending time with your families. I want to go through exactly what I want from our digital plan and the instructions that I'm sending you because I've got a couple questions and some of you haven't done it and it is due on Wednesday, April 1st. So coming up very soon here. What I'm asking you to do is log into Google Classroom click into our first assignment. It'll say Khan Academy substitution lesson. You click in there, it's gonna send you to Khan Academy. You're gonna create your account, okay? It's a new system. I do want you in there though. Create it with your Google email. You're gonna complete that lesson. There's a video you have to watch and then a numerous questions. That's the 20 minutes I want you to do there. When you finish that, and I'll be able to track that because I have the teacher edition and I can see who's completing that. When you finish that, you go back into Google Classroom, back to that same assessment piece, and there's a Google Form as well. There's two things. You're going to click on the Google Form after you do that. That's going to outline exactly what I want for you to do for Wednesday. And yes, this is all due Wednesday, tomorrow. We're going to see how this goes. You're gonna do the practice problems there. They're very similar. I linked another video there, so if you get lost on that, you can watch that. Um, it's the substitution um, within systems of equations, so that's our objective. In the Google form then, to do those practice problems, I'll require you to do some more time on Freckle. Um, then there's a small writing assignment, three complete sentences. A lot of people are not writing enough and they're not gonna get the points, so that's that. Um, and then you're going to watch a TED Talk, answer a couple questions there. Um, finally, there's a review section where you can give some feedback. And the last thing is, for you all, I'm requiring two pages of homework, okay? I need to see that you did this either on your own workbook or you saw the pictures that I took of the workbook, did it on a piece of paper, and then upload a picture of those answers. Some of you have already uploaded them and they're, they're, they're incorrect. And there's not enough um, of what you've done in there to show me that you follow the directions. So if that's you, you need to go back in there and complete it. If you haven't done it yet, when you get to the bottom, there's two pages that you need to complete. Uh, and then you'll upload a picture of those or you can link a Google Classroom or a Google uh, Doc. Okay, uh, I hope this isn't too complicated. It's all in one place. That's what I wanted. Uh, and let me just say, I miss you guys. I hope everything's going smoothly um, and be ready to turn it in for tomorrow by 2.30. So I wanted to give you guys a quick example here. So here we have y is equal to x minus 3 and we have y is equal to 2x. So these are, this is a system of equations, equal signs. So what I can do here in order to solve for x is I, I know what y is already. y is equal to 2x, which it tells me that right here. So I can actually just plug in. Whenever I see this y, I can plug in 2x. So now I just plug in 2x here equals x minus 3. Okay, so these are two separate equations. Now, I can solve for x. I need to isolate the variable. I'll subtract an x from this side, so these will cancel. I'll also subtract an x from this side, and now I have 2x minus x equals negative 3, minus 3. So, 2x minus 1x is just going to be x, or 1x, we call that x, equals... I bring this down, x equals negative 3. So now I know what x is.